Well, everyone, the week is finally here that we have all so desperately been waiting for. Chevrolet is finally unveiling their completely new, redesigned Corvette. The 2020 Corvette C8 is going to be the first mid-engine Corvette ever produced by Chevrolet. Of course, it's been highly anticipated for decades now as we've seen prototypes over time, but it's finally here. Now, the official day for the unveiling is July 18th, which is this Thursday, today being Monday, so we're just a few days away. Now, for anybody new to my channel, make sure you take this time to subscribe below. I'm gonna be continuously updating my channel with new information, and we're gonna stay up to date on this Corvette as much as possible. Also, as many of my subscribers are already aware, I am going to be purchasing a Corvette C8. I'm gonna be putting in a allocation for one as soon as possible. And a lot of my content going forward is gonna be about the C8, about the purchasing, the ordering, the whole process that it takes until I actually finally receive my Corvette C8. Then of course, I'll make content on the C8 itself, but it's gonna be really exciting content. And I think you guys will all really enjoy it. So we do finally have an exact location for where the unveiling event for the next generation Corvette C8 will take place. Now we've known for a while that it would be in Southern California and specifically Orange County, but it's actually gonna take place at the Tustin Hangar. The Tustin Hangar is a very large structure. It served as an air station for the Marine Corps back in World War II, and it measures a thousand feet long, almost 300 feet wide and close to 200 feet tall. And as you'll see in some of the photos, it is a perfect place to have this huge event. And they're actually doing a lot of setup as we get closer to the event. Of course, they wanna finish all of that up, but it's gonna be a very neat unveiling event, much different than what we've seen in the past years. And of course, they want this to be big, they want it to be unique. It matches everything surrounding the Corvette C8. So one of the coolest photos though that we see is the outside of the hangar, and we can finally see three transport trucks kind of rolling up that are housing the brand new generation of Corvettes. Now, this is a massive structure and they're gonna, of course, bring those semi trucks in and they're gonna close that door. So I highly doubt we will get any leaked photos before Thursday, but again, we're just a few days away. So we're gonna have so much more information in just a couple of days. And like I said, I'm gonna be sharing all of that with you guys, but very exciting to see what Chevrolet is doing for this event. And it gives you guys kind of a sneak peek as to what to expect when this event is actually taking place. So moving on from the unveiling event, we actually have very big news that Chevrolet has given us just in the last day. And that is that the all new Corvette C8 is going to be dubbed the Stingray. Now, a lot of people are gonna be shocked by this because the previous generation was the Stingray as well, but we've known for a while now that it's been hinted. We saw a leaked photo of the interior of the new Corvette C8, and it actually showed Stingray on the interior. Now, this led a lot of people to believe that the new generation was not going to be a new generation, and that Chevrolet would continue building the front engine Corvette C7, maybe with a modified interior. But of course, now we know that is not at all the case, and the new Corvette C8 is a completely reworked mid-engine Corvette, but it's gonna carry the Stingray name. One of the coolest things we saw is on the website of Chevrolet, they have a new link and it shows the all new Corvette emblem. And it looks sleeker, it looks more powerful, it just looks a little bit more refined, which is everything we're going for with the all new Corvette C8. It reads, Stingray is fast approaching. The next generation reveal event is almost here, where the world will be introduced to the 2020 Corvette Stingray. The name Stingray carries an impressive legacy of the legendary performance nameplate come along for the ride. So this is obviously kind of opening up what they're trying to shoot at, but they never actually say the Corvette C8. They just say that it's the Corvette Stingray, but it obviously is gonna be a brand new Corvette. So very exciting news, nothing completely new other than we now know it's gonna be the Stingray and we have a new emblem. Now, one really quick note is a forum member online at the mid-engine Corvette forum actually said that the front of this emblem matches up with the Chevrolet new logo for the Corvette. They both actually have the same angular design, which is really cool. And if you kind of put them together, which I'm gonna do for you guys, you will see that that's the case. So kind of a fun little bit that you guys now are aware of. As I said, this will be one of the biggest weeks ever for the Corvette. And it's a very exciting time, whether you are interested in the new mid-engine Corvette or not, this is big things that are happening for Chevrolet. And like I said, I'm gonna continuously provide Provide you with all of the updated information so that you guys can stay abreast on everything regarding the Corvette C8.
Now, I did make a video a few days ago talking about the new third trailer that came out, but I also talked about the leaked image of the rear of the Corvette C8. Now, a lot of my subscribers that watch a lot of my videos are aware that my biggest confrontation with the Corvette from what we've seen so far is the rear of the car. And with this leaked photo, it kind of only enhanced my worries of what the car will look like in person with this new rear. It's very boxy. The taillights are kind of interesting, but really not what I was hoping that we would go with. But I just feel like they don't flow as well as I would like. The spoiler itself is just, to me, a complete mess. Now, we could be completely thrown off by Chevrolet, but being this close to the unveiling event, I highly doubt that. And a lot of the test mules that we've seen have very little camo on them on the rear of the car. So we have what I would think would be a very close render image and that again aligns with this leaked image that we've seen of the rear. So of course it's to be seen, we're gonna know a lot more on Thursday, but it's one of those things that I'm curious as to what a lot of you guys think on the rear of the car. A lot of people are very, very upset. They mentioned it in my comments and they've mentioned it all over the internet. As I search for the Corvette C8, the biggest thing that comes up is this blue leaked rear rear image of the Corvette C8, and of course a lot of people are upset with it. Some people say they don't mind it, others say it's okay, but I would say the biggest majority of people are kind of in my camp, and that's they're not really feeling the rear end. As I said in my previous video though, there's a lot that can be done with that. There can be modifications done to your rear bumper. You can absolutely change out that spoiler for a better looking spoiler. Just a lot of things that can be done. But until you see it in person, it's something that I would give a chance. I wouldn't completely write it off. And when you see things in person, they can look completely different than they do in photos. So make sure you actually give it a chance before we all just completely write off the new Corvette C8. Now, one last thing that I will hit upon in this video is revisiting kind of the topics of the specs for the upcoming car. We do know that this base model that we're gonna see for the 2020 Corvette C8 is going to be a reworked LT1, probably an LT2 motor, putting out between 500 and 550 horsepower. So it will be a bump up from the previous generation, but it's not gonna be anything too crazy starting off. Now, the mid-engine design layout is where we're really gonna see the performance gain. The change out and where the weight distributes in the vehicle will absolutely help this car perform. In addition, we know that the car is going to be getting a dual clutch transmission. And for a lot of you guys, as I've said in many of my videos, we're very bummed that we're not going to get a manual transmission. This is the first time ever in history that this is going to be the case. Corvettes have always debuted with a manual transmission option. Our hope is that there's a patent in the works that will allow us to have a manual sometime down the road, but starting off, it's gonna to have to be a automatic transmission. Now, dual clutch should be quite quick and should make the performance numbers even better for the upcoming Corvette. Then finally, we have a completely reworked interior. And actually, in my opinion, I think it looks pretty cool. It looks a little more futuristic, but yet it still looks like a nice place to be, kind of still like a cockpit. Now, the center panel of buttons is where a lot of people are kind of fighting with. They don't feel like they like that. They think it looks a little bit different, nothing we've seen on a Corvette before, but everybody has to remember this is a brand new Corvette. It's the first ever mid-engine. Everything on this car is going to be different, and that is a change that a lot of us are going to have to accept going forward. But a bit of good news to the individuals that are not interested in the new Corvette C8, this hitting the market will make C7s even cheaper. A lot of people are gonna dump their C7s to buy the new generation of C8. So that should add to the supply of the Corvette market for C7. So you should be able to pick some up very reasonably priced. They're already quite cheap and they're gonna to continue to plummet in value as time goes on and they should be great value. The C7 is an incredible Corvette as it always will be. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. As I said, make sure you stay tuned to my YouTube channel. The official unveiling for the new Corvette is going to be July 18th, 2019 at 1030 p.m. Eastern time, and it is going to be live stream so we can all watch it. And I'm actually going to be putting out videos right after it happens to kind of give my breakdown, my thoughts. So again, if you're new to the channel, take this time to subscribe. And thank you so much for all of my loyal subscribers out there. I truly appreciate all of your incredible support. You all take care, have a great week, and we'll see you next video.